Dear Rentals Club members, it's a great pleasure I'm welcoming today Jay. Jay is the founder of Airbitix, a data platform, and he will be giving us today a tour uh, of the platform and tell you what value you as a property manager can get from using his tool. Without further ado, Jay, welcome. Thank you for accepting the invitation today. Thank you, and um, looking forward to speaking. So as I said, you are the founder of Airbitix, the company, can you maybe briefly present uh, you know, yourself or in the, the company, please? Um, yeah, so uh, I'm Jay. So I've started this company in 2019. So when I first started this company, I was an Airbnb host in London while working for a company as a software engineer. So that time I just loved hosting and it was pretty fun side hustle. So I just decided to like try out like identifying some interesting pattern, finding out some data and play with them. So while doing that, I, I realized that these problem, like the kind of problems that you can solve in short-term rental industry is very interesting. So I decided to tackle full time. So I built Arabitix. We start scrapping data from Airbnb and VRBO and we have started helping property managers, property investors, um, financial institutions, and tourism boards using the data set that we have. So um, that's why I think it sounds very interesting. Data sets, um, Airbnb, all these companies, and your tool is super visual, obviously, right? Because it's not just about data, but visualizing. So what I propose that we jump uh, straight away into the demo. Some people can really see what we're talking about. So uh, feel free to um, start sharing your screen so you can see um, what Airbitix is about. Yeah, sounds good. So um, I'll start with um, the first feature that I'd like to introduce. So this first feature is basically we help property managers to do pricing correctly using the nearly real-time Airbnb booking data. So. So this is the example of the data that we provide to the property management companies. So what they can see is, so this is an example from uh, New York City. So you can find out like check-in date, check-out date, and like number of nights and the booking values from each bookings and which days those bookings were made of. So using this kind of information, along with other information, other statistics like next seven days, 14 days, 21 days occupancy rate, you can actually make pretty much um, data informed decisions. So th this is the one thing and what people can usually do is um, you can also um, add some of the uh, custom, customizable data set, such as like number of beds or number of bathrooms or how many people um, each listing can accommodate. So you can filter through the bookings with the data set that's more relevant to you. And you can build your own pricing algorithms on top of it. So th that's, that's the, so that's the like use, usage of how you can possibly utilize the real-time bookings data from Airbnb. Um, and the second way that we help property managers using data is we help them find more leads using the data. So what's interesting is that we provide, we, we, are, we scrap the data from Airbnb every day. So we find out the newly created listings. So what we do is we provide, these are the list of the new, newly created listings in this city in the last week. So you can receive the like list of the newly created listings and you can go through like occupancy rate or star rating or their location or the size of their rooms. And you can identify 
which kind of listings you may want to help offering co-hosting or even such as professionally manage their properties for them. So yeah, um, these, these stored are basically two data sets that we have been providing to property managers. Um, I, I got a, just a few questions about them. Uh, maybe what we could do, we can switch back to a uh, one-on-one -on -one mode so uh, it's easier to, to ask the questions. Um, I think first thing for, for showing us this, and uh, the, the first question is uh, this data sheet, for example, if I subscribe to your service or ask for you, um, that's the result I get. But first, I guess I can go to your website and maybe enter a destination and then I, I can download the data sheet. Or how, how do I get the, da the data sheet basically? So these kind of data sheets are customized data sheets. So we specifically this data set for specific locations or specific, specific filters. And so there are two ways for us to communicate this data. So one is via email using the sheet CSV file. And another way is using the APIs. So um, we, haven't have, we, we haven't got the user interface for this data set yet. So, so what, what, what's great is that actually you can do the work for me, right? I can go on the airbitix.com and uh, contact you and I can tell you, you know, for my destination, my market, I need, I need, for example, the first sheet was more like, you know, the bookings happening at what prices or the second sheet, which is more like uh, potential properties I could acquire for a contact, let's say, uh, from a property management company say, hey, they're new to the market. These are great people we should be contacting, as you said, maybe for co-hosting. So that's, that's kind of like a tailor-made work you can do if we contact you, your company, right? Yeah, that's correct, yeah. So what I believe is that um, before scaling this up, I'd wanna do it like, right. Like our company is pretty small, it's, it's not really established. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to provide this data set until we can actually repeat this and have the like perfect clean data sets for all the other cities without us having to go through the data sets before providing to our clients. But we haven't got there, we haven't got that level yet, which means there are still some of the data that we need to still clean up before providing to clients. So what's good for rental scale members is a chance to you know, help a new company like yours, you know, maybe perfect their tools, but also so it's a chance of having like data at, or angles that nobody has seen before, right, on their market because it's brand new, right? Um, so you're saying that like um, the rental scale of members can get new angles using these kind of data sets. Yes, is, 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 it, is it exactly? Is, is it like um, do you provide, for example, some things that uh, maybe other people do not, or they're like new angles, like yeah, I'm going to work with Abitix because I can get maybe fresh insights. Yeah. So these two data sets that we are providing are, as far as I know, other companies aren't providing at the moment. So for example, Airbnb bookings data, this is very granular information. So it's not like the statistics. It's not like showing like occupancy rate of next seven days in New York City is 70%. But instead of that, we are actually showing the real bookings data that people can see and make the actions based on that data. So that's, that's, that's one thing that the current providers aren't providing. Uh, same for the lease. It's something that I've talked to quite a few of the property managers and one of their challenge is finding out more properties to manage. And I found that our Airbnb scrap data can really help those people by identifying like newly created listings every week so this is some of the like new approach that we are taking. Super interesting. And again, that's uh, thank you for taking the time and explaining that also as well there. Uh, what property managers, rental scale members can do. And I, I did say that people should be contacting you. So of course, there's your website, airbtix.com, which is air, A-I-R-B-T-C-S.com, airbtix.com. Um, what, what is uh, the best way? So they should go to the website and click on uh, contact or what's the best way to uh, 
get this uh, to talk with you, Jay, basically? Um, yeah, just contact me for, to my email. Um, I can provide you that into your uh, interview so that you can post it. Perfect. So in the, in, the, in the show notes and the video, in the article, make sure to have your, your direct email address. And thank you for finding the contact for the readers. I really appreciate that. So they can get uh, something for this. And I think it's a, it's a great way to, uh, to get started uh, with you. So once again, Jay, uh, thank you so much for this uh, presentation just for us. And uh, I just I can only encourage people to uh, contact you and get started and see whether it's a good fit. But you can see already that these are two angles that are pretty new or exclusive that could be worth you know, having a look at. Jay, yeah, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Yep. Take care.